Welcome back to Library 21C's introduction to 1-2-3D design. In this video, we're going to start talking about uh, faces, edges, vertices, and the tools that apply to those particular parts of shapes. And uh, we're pretty much just going to use this cube, which uh, allows us to illustrate all the different tools that we want to use. Now, uh, most of those are going to be under this Modify menu over here. But uh, like I mentioned before, uh, if, you, uh, if you click an object, you move your mouse off of the object and then you move your mouse all the way back you're gonna see that we can highlight these different parts so like I said uh, solids are comprised of faces faces are comprised of edges and edges connect vertices which are our corners over here I guess the exception to these are uh, things like spheres and, and ovals and hemispheres and, and things like that because they don't really have, uh, they're basically just one face uh, stretched around uh, an axis. Uh, but most objects have uh, faces, edges, and vertices. And uh, if you select one of them before selecting one of these tools up here, remember you get this gear. And in this gear, we uh, see a uh, menu of the three things that we can do with faces, at least on their own until we start getting sketches involved. Uh, so the first one's called Tweak. And, uh, and Tweak is interesting uh, because it's very flexible but also a little bit dangerous. Uh, let's try tweaking this face here. Basically it brings up the Move and Rotate dialog that you saw up here before. Only it applies solely to this face. So if we move it out here, it's going to change the distance. But if we move it up, it's actually going to warp the whole object. Because that other, the rest of the object is trying to catch up with the movement that we're doing just to this face. So we can do this from side to side as well. Or we can start rotating the shape like this. Or like that. Here, and look at it from the top. Whoop! Wrong radial dial. Let's try it again. Tweak, and I'm trying to grab this one. Here we go. So you can see, I can change the angle of this face, and the rest of the object tries to catch up with it. Uh, you know, Tweak, take its name seriously. It's for small changes, because uh, you can crash your program if you try to do too much with Tweak, if you try to twist things way beyond the capacity of, of you know, the, the laws of geometry. Uh, because if I start rotating, there's my invalid operation. Look at this wacky thing that I've created by, by trying to do too much with tweak. What now? Let's see what I'm doing here. What did I just do to that cube? I have no idea. Uh, so tweak is for for very small changes, unless you want to end up with some some crazy you know M C Escher geometry. <laughs> All right, let's uh, try a different tool. Uh, again, tweak is found under the modify menu up here, uh, but it is also found if you click, move away, click, gear, and here's press and pull. Press and pull is super simple, uh, and by now there's probably five different ways that you can do this. You can do this with uh, non-uniform scale, you can do this with uh, with smart scale, you can even do it with tweak, but if you know all you want to do is pull this shape out, you can do it with the press pull tool. And unlike scale, it doesn't affect this side, it only affects this over here, and it doesn't warp the rest of your shape. Uh, so that's the benefit of press pull. And again, you can just type in here. You know, if you want, if you know you want that to be uh, to stick out by 10 millimeters, you can type 10 and pop that out. And lastly, uh, for faces, you have the shell tool. The shell tool works like this: you click on a face, you click in the gear, and you hit shell. Again, also available under the modify menu. Once you hit shell, it deletes that face. And, um, and it makes a shape hollow giving width to all of the other faces in the solid. Uh, so basically it turns a cube into a box. And you can take this arrow and you can drag it in and make the walls thicker. By the way, let me, let me turn off uh, materials here. Notice that this is also happening to the bottom layer, the bottom face of that box. It's also getting higher because you're giving thickness to all of the shapes. And uh, you can also do it the other way around. Here, let me turn this back on. You can hit outside and have the box thicken going out instead of in, keeping the interior cavity a set dimension. Again, you can just type it in 
to this little box here uh, if you uh, if you already know what thickness you want and that is of course measured in millimeters or whatever default unit you have set over here uh, so those are the tools for faces let's uh, go back to our normal cube here let's start talking about edges things that you can do with edges include again tweak works the same way you move that particular component and the rest of the solid tries to catch up with it of course a rotate doesn't work on that direction it will work in this direction like that or you can drag it out like that and the rest of the solid tries to catch up and as with any other kind of tweak you can completely make your shape go bananas who knows what I did there so be careful with tweak no matter whether you're using faces or edges you can also fillet or fillet I think it's pronounced fillet an edge and uh, by the way you can you can you can select multiple parts uh, so if I wanna if I wanna fillet multiple edges at once I can click and then I click an edge and then I control click all the other edges and what fillet does is it basically rounds off the edge like you're sanding it down based on how deep you throw this arrow into it like that see you can also just uh, type in the fillet radius down here so you can put in a five if you know that's the degree you want and you're probably wondering if fillet radius means basically imagine that this curve is an imaginary circle and it goes all the way around like this the radius of this imaginary circle is what you type down here so the deeper you fill it in you see the the, the more shallow this curve gets and the bigger the imaginary circle becomes whereas that if you only do a little bit you can imagine that this circle would pretty much complete itself right here with a radius of 2.5 so that's why it measures it in terms of a fillet radius Another uh, option available to you is chamfer, which basically just cuts across the corner in a 45 degree angle, which I don't believe there's any way to change. If you wanted to cut across at a different angle, you'd be looking at, um, you know, using a, a subtract uh, operation. Uh, and the distance that you cut in is defined down here. Lastly, we have vertices, and there's only one thing you can do with a vertex or a corner, and that is tweak and it works just the same way as all the others but you can also control or shift select multiple vertices and kind of tweak it almost like you would an edge but you can do it even where edges don't exist like in this imaginary line between these two vertices where now if I rotate you can see the uh, the second vertex that I selected tries to orbit around the first one or I can raise both vertices basically cutting a line across the middle of that face move them around like that so that's a new edge basically that I've created by defining these two vertices and and tweaking them upwards so those are the things that you can do with these sub parts of an object just a quick little lesson there before we move on to sketching so practice doing that on your solids and uh, see what you're able to do just with that um, and we will uh, see you in the next video for uh, for sketches which is very fun it allows us to start making our own solids instead of relying on primitives see you soon